Hello everyone, Doodle Gabby again, bringing you another Warrior Cat speed paint. This week I'm drawing a couple of elders and mouse fur and running wind. Sorry if I'm not as talkative in this one. It has been a long week, and I don't quite have as much to say about these characters, but I'll still share my thoughts with you when they come to mind. Hope you enjoy! Here's a jerk who assumes Fireheart's a bad deputy because he's a kitty pet, and assumes her own granddaughter is going to be a murderer because her dad was, all too eager to share his thoughts about this to the point where she runs away. I don't like Small Ear. Speckletail, on the other hand, I like. I am still mad. I'm never gonna be over it. Still mad about Snow Kit's death. He and Speckletail had a lot of potential for a character arc, but instead he's killed off for shock value, just to show the audience that, hey, anybody can die, when I believe at that point that had already been made clear. quite a bit before I got to a fur pattern that I liked. And so tabbies continue to be the biggest hurdle I have to jump for these designs. It's fun though. When I get a tabby design I really like, I get very excited about it. I want to draw the characters in, like, the prime of their life. The, the version of them that you picture when their name gets mentioned. That kind of makes the, uh, Into the Wild Elders stick out a bit, though. Because even though Greystripe is an elder right now, when I get to drawing him on this family tree, I'm not about to draw him as an elder. I'm gonna draw him as a plucky, energetic warrior. Because that's what I picture when I think of him. Even though younger versions of all of these Into the Wild Elders have been shown and exist, when I think of them, my mind immediately goes to them being elders. Like, what do you mean one eye wasn't always the oldest cat in ThunderClan? Of course she was! Okay, so I am just learning now that Halftail got his tail bitten off by a badger. I probably knew it at some point, but just forgot about it. Anyway, can somebody please tell me if that happens in a book and I can read that happening? I want to see that fight. assumed, because his description is a broad-shouldered, dark-brown tabby, that Halftail was related to Tigerstar somehow, but apparently not. 
He's one of those cats that just kind of spawns, doesn't have any relatives. I gave him these wavy tabby stripes that I can then give to his son, Running Wind, that I think will match Running Wind being, you know, fast. Here they kind of make Halftail look like a watermelon, but you know, that's fine. While we're on this kick of making novellas about um, older characters, specifically there have been a lot of first art characters, how about a mouse for one? I don't know what the plot would be, but like, I want a mouse for one. Just give Mousefur and Running Wind their own novella and like make it about them being chaotic siblings together. Like I don't care what the plot is, I just like have them just be giving their own commentary and thoughts and opinions throughout the entire first arc. It'll be fun, please. I want these two to have more personality. Mousefur has personality. Um, give Running Wind one, please. He like had a couple of scenes in the first arc that and, and like you could work with that, please. And those are all the cats I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't know, I post one of these designs daily on both my Tumblr and my Twitter, which can be found in the description below. And when I'm done drawing every character that makes their first appearance in Into the Wild, I will be organizing them into a family tree that you will also be able to see there. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week with another speed paint.